Mommy. Super Mom. Super Mom. <laughs> Super Hana. Alrighty, so William has his Super Baby shirt, and I wanted to make us shirts that match. So first I started out with these jerseys, t-shirts from Joann's. They were on sale three for ten dollars, so that's very affordable. Um, I just got Hannah a youth small, and um, Chris and I adult sizes, and hopefully that's good to go. <laughs> and then I purchased this four pack of Tulip iron-on transfer sheets that are glittery, sparkly. Um, pink and purple are left. We're going to use silver for Hannah and Chris, and then this turquoise for me. I made these logos, Super Mom, Super Hannah, Super Dad, and I can go ahead and make a tutorial and link that below if you're interested in how I did that just really easily online. Um, and the great thing about this, the sizing that I did, it just happened to work out that we've got, if we put Chris up in this corner and Hannah kind of done in this quarter, I can get both of them on one sheet. So they'll both have the silver logos. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how, how I'm gonna transfer this, cut these out and um, make our custom shirts. All right, so I got my mom logo cut out. Doesn't it look good? I like it. Um, and I'm taking out the glitter sheet from the little protective sleeve. And I wanted to, to explain this side, you can't see it on the camera, but this side you can feel the texture of the glitter that's been attached to the glue. And this side is very smooth, and so you can tell that this is the glue side. So the way we want to do it is if the glue side is up, then we want printed side down. And that way we make sure that when we attach it to the shirt, the letters are not... Um, going to read backwards. Although it doesn't really matter with mom. It is going to matter with dad. So I'm going to now cut this out. And I got to tell you, this part is tedious, but if you do a good job, then, you know, ultimately your, your shirt is going to look better. So it's kind of got to figure out how to make the most, the best use of my sheet, probably like that. All right. So I'm going to cut this out and then we can work on ironing it to the shirt. All right, so I cut this strip off, and then I cut just a little jig here and kind of bent it back. Now I'm gonna cut here and then here and separate out the majority of my glitter sheet so I can use it for a different project. And then I'm gonna get to work on the detail. If you see, I just used some straight pins with sewing um, to attach it so it doesn't wiggle around too much. But keep in mind, this is gonna also cause it to bubble up. So uh, does it help, does it hurt? I don't know, but you just, you gotta take your time when you're in there doing little detail cuts. All right, so I cut out the dad logo with the sparkly little paper, and I want to let you know that I tried to do a shortcut and um, with the Hannah, with the Super Hannah, and I didn't cut out the paper, and I tried to cut through both the paper and the glitter, the tulip glitter iron-on sh transfer sheets, and it did not work at all. So take your time, cut out the paper, you know, set it on there, and then cut through the sparkle paper. It's just so thin that it pulls really easily. It's just, it's kind of hard to work with. So do one layer at a time and you'll get a smoother result. So now I have my, uh, my husband's t-shirt on the ironing board. I have it kind of zoomed in here, but I'm going to place it. Mine is nice and cool. Super mom. And I did it, let's see, four inches from the neckline. Men are a little different though. They don't have to, you don't have to take the boobs into account. So just a little, a little less than four inches from the neck. Kind of eyeball it straight. And I have the shirt on here straight too. So then all you have to do is cover it with, the, with a piece of material, thin cloth. This is just a scrap I had. Make sure it's all nice. And you're going to apply the iron. It says for 40 seconds. So you just want to press. Don't swish it, swish it back and forth because you don't want, um, you know, the heat is going to make that glue soften up and get wet. And if you start wiggling your iron around, you can smear it. So you just want to press and let it set, pick it up and press it, let it set for a couple seconds and just keep doing that. Now, once you've tapped the iron over the entire image, you can go back again a second time or third time, 
uh, not holding it down as long, but just making sure that you've really heated up all the areas of the glue so that they all have a chance to get hot, you know, um, fuse and bond to the shirt, and then as the material cools down, it'll adhere. Now I made my daughter's Super Hannah cape a little extra special by sewing a cape that was both attachable and detachable. So it's very kid friendly and I have a sewing tutorial about how I made that coming up later this week. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Carla the Bubble Lush and I will talk to you later.